more for peace than for truth. And, and then, of course, everybody's saying, what is truth? There is only one thing. And it's evident in everything except what people perceive human individual will is. And with that, added with every Hollywood movie saying the good guy wins because he has a choice. <clears throat> and so you know that it's bullshit if Hollywood is making it the premier thing to be aiming for. So there's only one thing. Leaf falls, not randomly. It's sort of like we are conditioned to be lazy or more conditioned with an arbitrary, you can't figure out the meaning of life that's only very rare, one in a billion. It's like, and so don't, don't have, don't worry about thinking about it because that, that's sort of the perception that's put out there. When the reality is, is you are God, literally, and mind-boggling so, and once you wrap your head around it, you'll be in a rocking back and forth, crying, nervous breakdown for a week. Because the reality is, is in our psychotic naivety, we've made hell, literal hell, so much suffering, suffering that will make your knees buckle. It's still no one's fault. <clears throat> but if we're all God, then, then why aren't we doing like a, a better thing with it? Why, why are we in such a mess? You know, and, and, and God can't straighten it out. Well, there's only one thing. So God can't not be God. God is not a controlling... It's not a creating phenomenon. It's an is eternally phenomenon. And it just happens to look like everything that's happening. But, but we're, we're people here. So to, to, to claim to be God and here, like in, in this human flesh, like what, what, are, we, what are we doing here? Like it's, uh, as a species yeah. we discovered fire and it drove us insane we started you know, testing the waters with arrogance and eventually via nature we figured out how to enslave planetary populations <laughs> under the guise that humans are something different can be good or evil and you need protection from evil and it's okay to hate evil so that gives us the drama of our lives well it's really serious it seems right now it's for the egos in this year of our lord 2021 we'll be a full-on, real, obvious, in-your-face, blatant, brazen Nazi takeover of the world via these mandates. It's heavy. These are heavy times. It's hard to know what to do. Well, you can know what not to do. That almost leaves us helpless. Well, that's why patience is good. Because you, a, a certain level of monkly... Yeah. guilelessness is absolutely necessary because what needed doing is the most horrifying frightening thing putting ourselves in a position where this instant every preconception we had about what our future was going to be probably isn't going to happen yeah exactly and I think that's what scares everybody and they don't know what to do about it it's like we have, like, it's like we have to get used to it well, I want to just start shouting out random ideas, but the first thing that comes to mind is, so people aren't going to voluntarily 
stop using money. People are not going to... I don't know. It's if, not if, voluntary, if there was a day that be? everyone could pick, like all the Christians and all the Sikhs and every religion that would carry a sense of nobility, to consider what their founders were saying when they said pride is bullshit and measure that against the Catholicism or the, the crown or this, just the, the generic con of Western religion, which is, of course, there's only one God. But they pretend there's two. They pretend the devil's just as big. They pretend every human is, uh, has the capacity to make something out of nothing. And so in that effect, there's nothing more contrary to truth, nothing more tyrannical or satanic than churches and institutions that teach that humans have individual wills. It made us absolutely insane and robbed us of our grace. Well. So patience be with us. I agree. Time to understand though. It's what people, people want to know what's going on. You know, they, they want to know how, how they get free in the <laughs> circumstance we're in. What freedom is. These are tough times. Well, you, you think on patience. Always. Enjoy austerity. Make friends. Put your mind to it and will mindfully and without hate or vengeance or spite face the entirety of this construct of hell and the devil and satanic and the intent that wants to kill everything and face it with forgiveness and love and resignment and let it kill us if it wants and in that it might see and then we'll enjoy a prophecy of a thousand years of enlightened peace until we get stupid again because we get bored with being the only thing that exists. Hallelujah.